In this video, I'm going to show you how to use studio mode in OBS. This is Leslie Samuel from becomeablogger.com where we're changing the world one blog at a time. Let's get into it. Studio mode is a, a pretty cool feature. What it allows you to do is preview your scenes before actually taking them live. So it's a very simple process. To activate studio mode, I'm gonna come down here to the bottom and I'm gonna click on studio mode. And when I do that, now I'm seeing two screens. I'm seeing a scene over here to my left and I'm seeing a scene over here to my right. So if I wanna preview a scene before I go live, I might come down here and say, okay, let's see my browser window. I might move it around, make sure it is exactly where I want it to be. And once it's there, I might say, okay, now it's time to go live with it. And then I'm gonna click on transition. And all of a sudden, it is now live and ready to go. And now you can see over here, I'm previewing the webcam. I might wanna use this to like make sure that my, my face looks the way it needs to look or whatever the case might be. And then when I'm ready for that to go live, I can click on transition. Now I wanna address transitions really quick because although I've mentioned these, I have not really gone into the details of them. Now, there are a number of transitions that you can have. When I look down here in the scene transitions section, I will see that it has currently selected cut. What that means is it will cut abrupt, abruptly from one scene to the next. So if I click on transition, you will see it will just switch over immediately. And if I do it again, it will switch over immediately. Now, I may want something different. I may want to go and use a fade instead of an abrupt switch. So what I will do is I can click on that and then I can select the duration. Right now, it's set at 600 milliseconds, which is a little long, but we'll see how that looks. So when I click on transition, you can see now it fades instead of cuts. Uh, so once again, I'm going to click on transition and it fades in instead of cut. And I can adjust the duration. So let's say I want it to be an entire second for some strange reason. I want it to take a second to transition. When I click on transition, it's gonna transition a little slower. It's gonna fade a little slower. If I want, uh, by the way, a thousand milliseconds is one second. So if I want it to be a faster fade, I could say maybe let's go with 300 and see how that looks. And then I'm gonna click on transition and now it fades, but it's a faster fade. The other option I have is I can set it to swipe. So I'm gonna click on swipe and let's see what that looks like. When I click on transition, it's gonna swipe me out of the way. And I have the same kind of setting where I can adjust the duration and now it's 600. So I'm gonna swipe, it's gonna swipe a little slower. So that's how you deal with transitions. Personally, I like to stick with the cut transition because that's mostly what you see in most professional video shoots. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and transition now with my cuts and I'm good to go. So this is how you use the studio mode. You can preview over here to the left and then you can send it live by clicking on transition and then it will send that particular scene live. That's it for this video. This is Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com where we're changing the world one blog at a time. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to go live to Facebook. Peace. Oh, hey, really quick, before you leave, if you wanna get access to my free OBS guide that will teach you everything you need to know about OBS Studio, you could do it in one of two ways. Number one, if you're in the US, just text the word OBS guide as one word to 44222. You can just take out your phone and do that. It's really simple. Or if you're not in the US, or you prefer to do it on your computer, go to becomeablogger.com slash OBS. When you sign up there, you're gonna get my free guide, and you're gonna be able to get emails whenever I have something new and cool to share with you about building a blogging business. I think that's pretty awesome. Oh, and of course, this is YouTube. You can subscribe. Go ahead. You know you want to. And of course, there's another video. Just click it. I'll be there waiting. Go ahead. Click it.